Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today is Monday, March 14th. It is currently about five minutes to four o'clock and I figured let's vlog because my vlogs are have been doing really well on my channel. Uh, I am going to start vlogging regularly. I did put up one maybe like a week ago or so. So yeah, that should be that should be good. So, and I figured it would be the perfect time to start a new vlog because I've done like some home improvement stuff and like some filming stuff. So I figured I would go ahead and start vlogging. Um, I know I look a little bit like a mess. I worked a very short shift today, just 5.30 to 10 a.m. And then I just came back home and went back to bed because I was so tired. So, um, yeah, that is what I'm doing today and I have tomorrow off. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make tomorrow a filming day. That's my that's my goal. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can and I'm trying to like keep up with YouTube and all that stuff along with work. So yeah, I'm currently watching um, Intervention right now on Hulu. Can I just say how amazing Hulu is? Like I can't believe it took so long for me to get it because Hulu is amazing like Netflix is good too but Hulu has a lot more updated options of shows that I like to watch so yeah I really like Hulu Ugh, it looks so gross but um yeah so I first wanted to kick this vlog off with a new addition to my filming setup and ta -da! I got my little stand thing for my background I'm so excited my um I wonder if I can just go and like sit in front of it. So as you guys know, when you watch my beauty videos, this is my background and I ended up getting a stand thing for it. So that way it is easier to stay behind me and that way it is nice and even and straight and not like awkwardly wrinkled because if you guys remember my older background, the white one with like the little leaves on it, you know, this is what I was using for like years. And when I got my little champagne colored sparkly background, I was just draping it over this and it was just not working out. Like not, not at all. It was just not a good thing. So I really wanted to get a stand for it, which is a little uneven. I need to fix that. That's going to bug me. Um, but yeah, I decided to get a stand for it. That way it'll stay nice and flush and even, and it won't like fall down or anything like that. So I absolutely love it. That's what it looks like like that and then I just film on the other side of that so I got it on eBay for I think it was like $27 I'm pretty sure so yeah I'm really really pumped about it can't wait to start filming with it and then I asked you guys if you wanted to see like different color um like backgrounds like for my YouTube channel and a lot of you said black or silver so I did end up getting a black one and I will get the silver one soon so we'll have to see how those work but you know, just trying something different. You know, when you're trying to build a YouTube channel, there's no harm in, you know, trying different things and experimenting with different backgrounds. I just think it's kind of fun. So and then I also decided to make some other kind of home improvements to my apartment. I got uh, a few new things. Um, wonder what would be the best way to show you. I really need to clean up. My house is like really, really messy right now. So I don't really know what the best way to show you would be. I feel like I should like pick up first before I start like showing you guys all of my, all of my updates. But I decided to go to Walmart the other night and get some things that I've been really, I've been really, really like needing and wanting to do for my apartment. Like for instance, I wanted to get like some nice curtain rods. I got a new rug for my living room. There's what my rug looks like. It's like black and white and it's cool because it matches my lampshades. Those ones over there. So it's like boop, boop. So yeah, I got that. It's a lot bigger and it just makes the room a lot more like homey. I don't know, I really, really like that rug. I originally had this rug in my filming room, but I thought it would look better out here. So I moved it out here. That's the first thing. The next thing are my new curtain rods, which I'll go ahead and show you. Hopefully you can see that okay. I'll zoom you in. Yeah, there are my new curtain rods. I do have to remove the old little silver ones that were there, but boop. I just feel like it makes the room more complete. So yeah, I got some new curtain rods and then I'll show you the rug that I have in my filming room. It's very like 70s. Yeah, there's the rug in my filming room now. It's like a black shag. 
So, and it's just plain black, so it matches, like, everything that I have going on in here. And then the next thing that I got is one of the best purchases I have probably ever made, and that is a new shower head. Now, the apartment that I live in is very, very old. It's very dated, because um, I think this building was built in, like, the 60s or 70s, so there are just a lot of things that, you know, could use improving. Why not? So... The shower head that was originally on this was like a cheap little tiny shower head. It was just really gross looking and I feel like when you take a shower you got to be cozy, you got to be comfortable. So I decided to blow $40 on a new shower head and I'll show you what that looks like there. There is my new shower head. Like can we just take a minute to just appreciate this shower head right now? And then it like comes all the way down here. Oh, it is amazing. I absolutely love it so much. Like, it has, like, the little rain shower thing. And then, let's see if I can actually get up. So, yeah, it has this little part here, and um, the water comes out of here. And this stays right here. And then water also comes out of this one. I still don't know how to work this thing. <laughs> there we go. And then this can actually, like, come down, and you can, you know, shower like that. So... Yeah, that is my new shower head. I still don't understand how this goes in here. Finally, jeez, but no barking. Shh. Intervention's pretty intense. I mean, really though, like Jesus, that's crazy. But I love this show. Hey guys, so today is March 24th and I just got home from work. I worked a 10 to 4 shift today, so yeah, it went really good. The weather is like really kind of rainy and crappy today, so it made me feel kind of down. Um, I don't, I like that weather, but I don't at the same time. It's really weird, but I just felt kind of like merp today. And I got home and I noticed that I received a package today, and you guys probably see it right there a little bit, but this is my new black sequin background for my videos. Because if earlier in the vlog I talked about, well, you know, like what color background you guys wanted to see, and you guys said black or silver, so I got the black one. So here's what it looks like there. I'm gonna try it out for a few videos, get your guys' opinions because obviously, um, you know, I take YouTube very seriously and I really do respect your guys' opinions on what you like to see. So I'll try that background out for a few videos, see if you guys like them and you can let me know if you do or you don't. Um, I still have my champagne colored one right there that I was using for a while and I really like that one. And by the looks of this black one, I really, really like that one too. So. Yeah, I'm hoping it turns out good. Uh, today, um, I do have the day off tomorrow. So today and tonight and tomorrow um, is going to consist of cleaning, laundry, dishes, all that good stuff. Because that's when I like really, really have time to kind of crank down on that sort of stuff. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to kind of clean up my kitchen a little bit. Maybe start a load of laundry and... Um, do YouTube stuff because I have to really crank out a lot of editing and I haven't decided if I'm going to film tomorrow or not, but Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Oh, yeah, gosh, I'm super oily. I look like a mirror. Don't you want to say hi to the camera? Oh, you got an itchy face. Careful, don't scratch your eyeball out. You're so sweet. Uh, scratches. I'm scratching my face because I have a cute face and I like to scratch it. And then we have Crunchy over there chewing on a bone. Are you chewing on a bone over there? Oh, oh, you're gonna play with your bone? Yeah. Oh, is that a good bone? Do you like it? Yeah, let's zoom in on your beautiful face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're fighting over it now. Who do your butthole showing? Oh, is that for me? Is that for me, Chuckleberry? Thank you. I like it. Did you bring Mommy a present? Thank you. That's very nice. You are a very good boy. Are you Mama's good boy? 
Can you give mommy a head tilt? Yeah. Do you like your bone? Do you like your bone? Do you like it? Bra on the table. No shame. Just finished editing a video. This is the 20 song tag that someone wanted me to do um, a video on. So I decided to do that and I just finished it. And I don't have enough room on my computer so I have to save it to 720p. And boom, we are in business. So I got off work at four o'clock today and it is currently 6.30 in the evening. And I'm just sitting here editing, doing YouTube stuff, um, watching videos, answering comments, and just stuff like that, just kind of hanging out. And I wanted to show you guys my new freaking obsession that I am so freaking in love with. And that is my brand new Sony headphones. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, basically I've been wanting a nice new pair of headphones for a really long time because I was just using like simple standard earbuds that from Best Buy, they were like five bucks. And the earbuds hurt my ears, especially with a lot of my piercings. It just makes it really kind of uncomfortable. That's just the reality and realization with ear piercings. And I really wanted a nice, good quality, noise canceling pair of headphones to listen to music with, to edit with especially. I saw these and I really, really wanted them and didn't buy them at the time. There's an up close view of what they look like, super comfy. And I really wanted them and they were around $50 and I finally got them a couple days ago and they are so amazing. I will show you what they look like on. Do you like my little poof that I did today? I thought it was kind of cute. But for those of you who are wondering the style, uh, they are these ones right here. And these will definitely be in my April favorites. I was gonna put them in my March favorites, but I actually don't have a March favorites this month. So I'm just gonna wait and save it for April, just in case something changes and I don't like them anymore. But for right now, they're going in my April favorites. And these are the Sony noise canceling um, headphones. These are the MDR ZX 11 ONC. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and show you those right there. So here's what they look like on. But oh my gosh, they are so cool. I love them so much. And then they have like, um, obviously the little pluggy thing to plug in your computer, your phone, your MP3, whatever. And then it also has a little switch on the side here that turns on the noise canceling. And because there's a difference, it's just like regular headphones this way. And then the little switch turns on the noise canceling and you literally can't hear anything when the noise canceling is on. So love, 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 love these. And it is definitely not sponsored. Trust me, Sony has no idea who the heck I am. I just really wanted to buy these headphones. I really wanted to share them with you guys in case I have any other, you know, fellow creators out there that are looking for a nice pair of headphones. Those are some good ones to try if you're curious. So I wanted to show you guys my new pretty flowers that I got today at work. Um, basically at my coffee shop, we give police, um, ambulance, firefighters, any military, we give them all free coffee because obviously they do enough for us as it is. So we just give them free coffee and one of the EMTs decided to drop by and give all of the baristas a little thing of flowers. So I got the cute little pink roses. They just look like that. I just thought that was super nice and sweet of her. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I just thought that was the cutest thing. But um, yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbering now and I will probably see you guys whenever I decide to vlog again. So bye. Get the cute little squirrel. Jackal and Motley, you keep barking at it, trying to get at it. <laughs> Little squirrel. <laughs> Go cute. Look at that cute little tail. Do you guys see the squirrel? Where's the squirrel at? Oh, do you see the squirrel? this big bad squirrel gonna get you? Hey 
Hey guys, so today is March 31st. It is the last day of March, which is super crazy. And I'm just having a little bit of a filming day because I have today and tomorrow off, which I'm super excited about. And um, I just filmed three videos and you guys will be happy to know that they are piercing related videos because I know a ton of you guys have missed those. And I've been trying out my black background so we'll have to see how you guys like it. I really do like it. I think it looks really, really good and just looks really professional but i wanted to vlog really quick because i wanted to share with you guys a new addition and that is i got a new phone oh my gosh so you guys know that i had the kyocera hydro icon um i did like what um what's on my phone videos phone case collection things like that all on this phone and my phone provider was actually having an upgrade going on where you could upgrade your upgrade your phone if you wanted to so i was like you know what the heck why not let's get a new phone so the one that i went with is this one right here this is the htc desire 626 s i'm pretty sure and um basically you could just upgrade this and i decided to get the phone i got a cute case for it just like a pink sparkly case and then a screen protector which obviously you can tell that i suck applying these like they're just awful but um yeah i'm super excited about it uh, i got it just a couple days ago actually i think i got it on like the 29th or something so yeah i've just been kind of playing around with it and trying to get used to it so it's a lot bigger than what i'm used to as you can see it's it's pretty big compared to my Kyocera. I'll go ahead and lay them down and compare with you guys. So here is my Kyocera right here and then here is the new HTC phone. So as you can see there is quite a significant size difference. Super fun so I really like it and I really wanted to share it with you guys. Super excited. I didn't really have a real reason to upgrade. I mean you know, going back and looking at the Kyocera, I did have a lot of, not issues with it, but just things that didn't work. For instance, I couldn't, I didn't have a selfie camera because the camera on the Kyocera Hydra Icon is god awful. The video camera never worked, so I could never make like Instagram videos or have a Snapchat or anything like that because the audio wasn't lining up with my mouth. So, you know, I just had little issues like that and also YouTube and Gmail quit working on this phone. So I just figured, you know what, let's upgrade, let's get everything to work and everything seems to be working so I can start doing like Instagram videos and things like that. As far as getting a Snapchat, that's never gonna happen because I actually don't like Snapchat. I'm just not that big of a fan of it. So everything is all upgraded and good to go. So I got the case, the screen protector and the new phone for about a hundred bucks. And not to mention my phone bill went way down. So that's even better. So I got a new phone, new upgrade and a lower phone bill. So that makes me happy. I will probably do a what's on my phone video in the future after I, um, you know, get everything all situated and have everything downloaded that I want so I can show you guys, you know, just like my favorite apps and things like that. So <sighs> yeah, that's basically what's going on right now. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Do you love my shirt? I mean, really though, it's Miss Marilyn on my shirt. I love it. My coworker actually gave this to me. She cleaned out her closet and brought like this huge bag of clothes for all of the girls at my work. And we just like went through and started picking things out and I saw this shirt and I was like, mine. So yeah, that's what I'm rocking with today. Where the fuck's your volume button? Oh, I just... Hey y'all, I'm with my sister. Hi. She's driving. I've never driven with her before. This is crazy. How long ago did you get your license? Um, it was October. I was 18, so October 2013 or 14. Okay. So yeah, she has her license, and I've never got to drive with her before, so this is my first day driving, and she's so good. I'm so jealous. As you guys know, I'm scared to drive, obviously, so I don't have my license. I am determined I'm getting my license this summer, so that is the goal. And seeing my sister drive is like super motivating. I definitely need to get my license now because it's just time to be an independent woman. We have the poppies here. And my sister actually turned 21. Yep, they're outside. Oh shit. My sister turned 21 on March 30th. So tonight we are going to be celebrating. <laughs> oh my God. I know, I fucking hate it. I'll have to get out and let them in. Oh my gosh. Tonight we're gonna be celebrating. Celebrating her 21st birthday, so we just picked up some liquor. And 
yeah, so it's gonna be a fun night. I brought the dogs with me for the night, so it's gonna be a good time. I'm super excited. Yeah, oh, there they go. <laughs> They're already starting, oh my gosh. Tootie, look at the bird. Do you like the bird? <laughs> Do you see the little bird? More stuff from She Inside came today. I got three new things to do another collaboration video with them. Um, obviously it's not sponsored. I'm just gonna do like another outfit of the day showing these items and I got three things. So here's a little sneak peek. I'm really hoping this fits. This is like a maxi dress, so I'm hoping it fits. I got an X small. So I'm hoping it looks right and I'm hoping it hugs all my curves. So we'll have to see how that looks, but there's a little sneak peek. <laughs> Making some tea in my little tea kettle. I'm gonna put it in my little tea cup here. Hello guys, it is April 7th today and it is about quarter to five at night and I just got off work, I got out at four and I'm just kind of chilling at home now, I'm just watching some YouTube videos in the background but I just kind of wanted to vlog and let you guys know that tomorrow I'm getting my third session on my tattoo and I'm going to try to vlog as much as possible to see if I can catch some footage of it and then I'll, obviously I will show you what it looks like afterwards and all that good stuff. My eyelashes are like on point today. I use my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara and it's just like amazing. Like look at that, like hello, I'm a little doll. Yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm super excited about it. I'm super nervous because obviously, you know, it hurts, it doesn't feel the best, but I'm just excited to get it done. I am so close to being done and I'm gonna try my very hardest to push through as much as I can tomorrow to get as much done as possible. He said that the third tiger down on my inner um, like behind my arm closer down to my elbow, which you guys will see he said that one won't take as long because that one's not as bad um, And I agree that is the that was the best looking one on there So he said it won't take that long So hopefully we can get that one done within an hour or two and then we can really kind of crank out Like all the other stuff. So yeah, I'm super excited to get that done uh, tomorrow. So yeah, um, I'm just kind of chilling right now. I'm going to my friend's birthday party tonight. My coworker turned 25, so she's turned, having like a little house party tonight. So I'm gonna go to that. Obviously I'm not gonna vlog because I'm not gonna put those people on the internet when they don't wanna be. So I'm just not gonna do that. But I am doing that tonight. And I also wanted to up you, update you guys on um, if you watch my drugstore makeup haul. Yeah, I gotta get in here. Uh, I mentioned that I got some new, whoa, hello yellow light. Um, I mentioned that I got some new makeup wipes and they were the wet and wild under the sheets makeup wipes. They just look like this. These were like, I don't remember, $2.99 I think at Walmart in the wet and wild section, which wet and wild is super cheap and cruelty free and all that good stuff. And I said I would update you guys on whether or not I like these. I've used about half of them now and I freaking love them. They are so amazing. Um, 
I love them. These are probably pretty close to my favorites next to the e.l.f. ones. So if you guys want to try these, highly recommend that you do. At first, when I first tried them, I wasn't that sure about it just because like they, when I took it out of the package, it didn't feel like there was much like makeup remover on it, you know? So I was like, how is this going to remove anything? But it does a really good job of it. And I, I love these so much. Oh, my, how much does my body cost tattoo edition went up today. Uh, basically, I just go through and show all of my tattoos and talk about the prices of them. And then at the very end, I add everything up and tell you guys how much my body costs with all my tattoos. And I was super nervous to upload it because people are so mean about my tattoos and it really hurts my feelings when people are mean about my tattoos. Not that I take it personally, personally. Like I don't, be, I don't look in the mirror and be like, oh, they're right, it's so ugly. Uh. But it's just like, like why do people have to be mean about something that's not even on their body? Something that doesn't even affect their life. They're so, so mean to me about it. I just, I just don't understand and it just really hurts my feelings. So I was really nervous to upload it, but um, I did disable comments on it so I don't have to read those hateful comments. But uh, I am glad I put it up because I did really miss doing tattoos and piercings videos. They were my all time favorite videos to film back in the day and I kind of took a break from doing them just because, you know, I just for hate, I was just getting so much hate on them. But I'm really glad I started back up doing them and I'm going to be doing a whole bunch more. So yeah, I'm just really, really happy that I went back into it because looking back on my YouTube channel and watching, you know, my older videos from maybe like a year, year and a half ago and seeing how happy I was talking about tattoos and piercings, it's just like, that's when I was just truly happy. So I'm really glad I'm getting back into it and I'm starting to feel a lot better. If you guys like me on my Brian Barbie Facebook page, I posted a long status about how I feel like I let you guys down and I feel like just people just aren't interested in my videos anymore and my analytics show that. Like not even half the people who are subscribed to me watch my videos anymore and people mainly watch three minutes per video that I upload and it's just really disheartening, it's really sad, and it makes me feel really crappy. And I mean, I don't do YouTube for views, I don't do YouTube to get famous. You know, YouTube is something I genuinely love to do. I love to film, I love to edit, I just like to meet and interact with you guys. Even though I am super shy, just like reading your guys' comments and all your support means a lot. And my channel has taken a hit where it everything is falling. My views are down. My subscriber count, I'm lo I lost over a thousand subscribers. It's just, I'm just having a rough patch in my YouTube channel right now. And I realize that it's because I'm not happy. And the only way to fix that is to get happy again. And I get happy by doing tattoo and piercing videos. That's just what makes me happy and it's what you guys like to see. I mean, I do, I am very happy with everything I've uploaded. You know, I work really hard on every single video I upload, but I just, I just feel that it's right to do what I like to do and what you guys like to see. So I am going to be bringing back my tattoo and piercing videos. Um, you know, obviously I can't do videos on everything and I'm not a professional or anything like that, but I just feel like it's just, they just need to come back. And I'm very, very happy to say that I am gonna be bringing them back and I feel, I feel good about it. I feel better and I'm hoping I can get my channel back up to where it was, where I can get the interaction with you guys that I used to have because it's just not there anymore. And that really, really hurts to see it take a hit like that. So, um, I promise I will get back on top and I will be the YouTuber that I used to be. Now, some of you say, Brie, what are you talking about? You know, your videos are great. And you know, I really do appreciate that. I mean, some of you are subscribed to me and you watch literally every single video I upload and I love you guys so much for that. And then there are people who just don't care about anything else except my tattoos and piercings, you know, which is fine. Like it's YouTube, you can choose what you wanna watch. You can choose who you wanna be subscribed to. You can choose all of that. Um, but it's just like, just what I've been uploading just isn't eye catching to you guys anymore. And I realize that I'm definitely seeing the effects of that. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that I am sorry. Uh, I'm sorry for, you know, ignoring a lot of your requests for tattoos and piercings videos. I just needed a break, but I'm back and I'm very happy to be doing them. I have 
a ton of piercing related videos coming up. Um, I have piercing myths. I have pros and cons of a tongue piercing. Uh, just things like that that you guys want to see. I'll do an ear piercing update on all my ear piercings because a lot of you guys have been asking about that. I'm doing a how much does my body cost piercing edition. So I do have things planned and obviously there will be more tattoos and piercings for me in the future. So you don't need to worry about any of that. But I just want to say that I'm sorry that my videos just aren't interesting to some of you anymore, but I promise I will do videos for everyone on my channel. You guys are subscribed to me for a reason, and I am so appreciative of you guys, every single one of you. You guys mean so, so much to me, and I know I don't say that as much as I should, but just know that at the end of the day when I go to sleep at night, I am truly thankful for YouTube. YouTube has been a lifesaver for me. YouTube is something that I take very seriously and I'm very passionate about um, and I'm just I'm really really thankful so I just want you guys to know that and I will be bringing back all of my old videos that you guys really want to see so yeah just wanted to get that out of the way but yeah so I'm gonna probably chill take a little bit of a nap and then get ready to go to the party and then tomorrow at 12 30 I have my tattoo so and I'm getting a message. Who could it be? Who could it be? That's all I have for right now. I will probably talk to you guys in a little bit. And I will definitely see you all in a second. Which I will probably be at the tattoo shop. So, I love you guys. Bye! Probably turn that off. Hey guys, so it's April 8th. It is almost 8 o'clock at night, and I have my third session done on my half sleeve today. So I thought I would come back and update and show you guys what it looks like. Uh, my appointment was at 12:30, and I didn't leave until maybe quarter after five. So again, it was another long session. Um, I have one more tiger to go, and I'm done. So I only have one more session, and we're going to just kill it next time. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. Uh, what we did first is we touched up this um, top tiger a little bit in some of the spots and then we touched up spots in this tiger as well. So these two are almost completely done being touched up. For some reason, I don't know why, but the black in some areas just did not want to heal right and it healed very patchy. So we're gonna go over all of the black um, in the rest of this next time I go in. And same with this one as well. Some of the spots just needed to be touched up, but nothing too nothing too crazy so yeah and then the tiger that we went completely ham on today is this back one and that is what it looks like so there's that and then it goes down into that seriously like are you guys seeing this sorry there's a glare so amazing like look at the detail oh my gosh this was so cool this took maybe um how long because like the first maybe hour and a half, two hours, he spent touching up um, the black in these two tires because it needed it really bad. And I thought we were going to do these leaves up here today, but he wants to save that for the very last session. So I'm just going to go with what he says there. Uh, so yeah, the first two hours were spent on the black shading and then the rest, maybe like two and a half, three hours were spent on this back tiger and I just have that one up there to go and then little spots. We're going to put like a leaf or some sort of 
greenery above this tiger's head in that spot right there. We were just going to fade it up to um, like black shading, but since there's black by that ear right there, we didn't want it to look weird. So we're going to do that there and just touch up some of the colors in the final session and all that good stuff. But this was the main goal of this session right here was this back tiger and I could not be happier with it. It looks so good. We decided to keep the blue eyes and the the face. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks really good. Um, as far as pain goes, pain wasn't excruciating like it was last time. I mean, it did hurt really bad and there were parts of it where I was like, holy fuck, I want to be done. But it was good. It was good. Good session. Um, yeah, again, it was another $300. So in total so far, I've spent $900 on this piece and I have another $300 to go depending on how it all works out. But yeah, super happy with it. And as you can probably see on my face, I'm absolutely exhausted. Every time I go and get a new tattoo, I come home just so tired. But yeah, so there is what that one looks like. I absolutely love it. I'll get more up close. So yeah, here's kind of what it's looking like as a whole. Yeah, um, my sister actually came with me this time and sat with me for the whole time, so I'm so glad she did that. She had the day off of work today, and she figured she would just come and hang out with me for a while. It was fun. We got to talk and catch up, so I liked it. But, yeah, I just wanted to update and show you guys my tattoo. I'm going to go elevate my arm and relax, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye!